Hello, my friends. Okay, so I have a small empties for you. I'm just going to get started. I had some time to film, and my parents are coming to visit for a week, so I'm just kind of like, um, they're not coming. This is Thursday, and they're not coming to Monday. I don't know when you're going to see this, um, but I'm just kind of, you know, getting all the trash out and kind of just clearing things out, and um, I figured I would just do this, so let's get started. I used the Pumpkin Pie Yankee Candle Wax, and it was really nice. Um, I have a bunch of these fall ones that I purchased. They had a sale that was 10 for $8, I think, or something like that. And they had it in like the summertime and I've been saving them and uh, I started using some of them. So that was fun. These I got from Big Lots. They are the Better Bundle Baby Wipes. Not um, a super big fan of these in general, but it does do remove swatches and stuff like that. Um, and they were like 80 cents. The Switch My Poof Out, I like to show that to remind people you know, you do get bacteria and stuff in there, and you do need to switch those out. Um, I finished up the last two Biore nose strip and face strip. I won't be repurchasing these. Um, I do like the ones that are from Big Lots, the EPL ones. I don't necessarily need the face ones. This just came in a swap. It was like eight or something each. So I used them all, which is an accomplishment. I've had them for months and months. But, um... If you need a nose strip, I definitely recommend uh, the ones from Big Lots. I don't necessarily get a lot of oil, so I don't really get whiteheads or anything on here, but it's detoxifying. So um, I used some Yankee Candle Votives, the lemon one I used in the kitchen, and it smelled really nice. And this one was really nice. It was the Scent Beads Warm Breeze. Very fresh scent. It was nice just to get a clean smell in my bedroom because they had painted and spackled and done all kinds of crazy stuff because of my neighbors who let their um, air conditioner leak everywhere on the floor, which caused a leak in my bedroom, which ruined the ceiling. A huge, I mean, huge section. Um, and they have to replace a lot of my ceiling. Uh, so yeah, I was dealing with that for several weeks and my neighbors have not once said I'm sorry to me. So um, all they did was complain when they wanted to access their apartment. So I really have great neighbors. These are awesome, and I can't find them in the Dollar Tree anymore. So the Colgate Wisp Optic White Cool Mint. You get four of these, and they have a little bead when you brush your teeth with them. It pops, and it, like, freshens your breath. I love these. Um, this was a miss. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's the Olivia Grease Vanilla and Sugar Spice uh, Body Wash. Yeah, clean me. Um, it's not a very strong scent. I saved it so you can see. It's kind of like gel like watery gel. I don't know. It is, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I finished my beloved Jergens Natural Glow. I have no more. Um, I'm probably just going to bite the bullet and buy one of these. I was lucky enough to keep getting them in swaps, but, um, I'm probably going to buy it because I need it in my life. I finished the Lancome, uh, creme, uh, comforting exfoliating cream. This is very, very gentle. If you have very sensitive skin, I recommend this, but if this is uh, even more gentle than my St. Ives scrub that I love to use. So it was nice. Um, to me, it was more of a cleanser than an exfoliator. I finished the Janice Collagen Peptide Gel. It's, kind of, it's a serum and um, it's supposed to regenerate skin cells and stuff. And it was all right, I guess. Uh, the Sephora Age Defy Moisture Cream, SPF 15. This stuff's okay. It's just very watery for me. I like something a lot more creamy. I finished my beloved Apple Crumble. I only have one of these left. I've used two. If you have never smelled this, OMG, it is. Baked Granny Smith and Macintosh Apples topped with Vanilla Crumble, Cinnamon, and Nutmeg. It's just amazing. And then I finished this Nars Pencil in Rikugian. This was just like the travel size and yeah. And then this is a fail. I'm not going to, I was going to save it for my fail video, but I'm just going to show you. It's the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Length and Straighten Mineral Mascara. I really love this when I started using it and then maybe a couple uses in. Um, it's so, like you use it and, and it flakes really, really bad. The brush is awesome. You see that? But, um, and it's a really wet, nasty look. I clean this off before I open this so that it's just very goopy and it's got to be because of the formula and I also don't know how old this is I got this from a um, oh like a Instagram 
uh, beauty lot that I purchased and there was a couple in there one I gave to my friend for helping me move and I like I said I liked it and then I didn't so that's why first impressions to me I don't really watch first impression videos because after I used that like three four times my entire impression of it changed drastically so that's my empties just a little bit um has of this video I am at 906 empties so I definitely think I could hit a thousand for the year which is really exciting we'll see um, I have two and a half months to get 94 or more so I think it's like 1.3 items a day which is a lot but um, it's also like candles and sometimes you just kind of run out of everything at once so that day you might have five and then one day you might not have any so we'll see how I do um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. So wish me luck and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.